Hello! Hi. Hi! Welcome! It's the Disney Beans again, and we are going through the Disney Devotions. We are in week three this week of uh, going through Cinderella's Castle. Cinderella Castle. So the author speaks of castles of old, back in the olden days, about castles being a sign of strength mm -hmm. and protection. And he uses that to share how God is actually our true strength and protection. But before we get into that, let's talk about castles. Right. So we've been to a few Disney castles, and we're going to share with you quick thoughts about each one. Okay. Disneyland. Well, let's see. Disneyland. We were actually married in Disneyland, so that has to be um, the beautiful castle that's there that actually Walt built. So that one means uh, a lot to me, and the fact that it was there, and he got to see the whole thing. Yay! What about you? I think Walt Disney World Castle is so amazing. Mm -hmm. So honestly, the word that comes to mind is majestic. Yeah. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. It's huge. It's the appropriate backdrop for walking in down Main Street, and you mm -hmm. just see this huge majestic castle yeah. i honestly love the colors that they've painted it for the 50th anniversary it's beautiful to me i love the lighting wow. effects it's majestic yep. got the gold trims to it and all too but we've actually seen a couple other ones too yeah uh we've been to hong kong, hong kong. and uh, what did you think of hong kong's castle hong kong's castle was so cute and small yes. like don't get me wrong it was still an amazing castle it's great to see but we kind of turn down main street and you're like oh Look at the castle, it's so cute. Yeah, it's you, still nice. Yeah, it, and they've redone it. It, it. it has gotten bigger now, so uh, but it is, it was, you know, yeah, massive in size, wasn't <laughs> quite uh, when you're used to more of a Disney world. So, uh, we've seen another one, we saw uh, Paris, Disneyland. And that one was beautiful. That one kind of reminds me of the French countryside. Beauty and the Beast, guess. Uh, it's built up on a country hill. Um, and it's got an the I, waterfall. Yeah, yeah. And I really like it because it's got the uh, like the um, dungeon dragon uh, underneath the, uh, the, the, <laughs> the, 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 yeah. So it, if you ever go to that one, go under underneath. And there is a uh, dragon's lair that's underneath there with a dragon that breathes fire and stuff. It's really Check cool. it out. It's really cool. Hard to oh find, my but goodness. there you go. So, anyway. so back to the devotional about castles being strength and protection. So clearly in the physical world, right, castles are a sign of prestige and they're a fortress and they're designed to keep people safe, to house people. But God is using um, his word to show us that he is our true fortress. He is our true strength and protection. You you looked something up regarding that, right? Yeah. So when we're in relationship with our Heavenly Father, we can take refuge in Him. And the Bible or the dictionary says, uh, defines refuge as a state of safety, protection, or shelter. And while a fortress is a fortified place, a stronghold, and an unmovable object, kind of like our Lord God. I know. I love it. It's so beautiful. And I love about refuge being a place of safety. Yeah. Like I feel safe in His heart. That's where I want to be, right in the sweet spot of his heart in his safety. It's beautiful. So when we were just chatting um, earlier today about, well, what did God put on your heart regarding the devotional? It's interesting because God put um, specific Bible verses on our hearts. And for me, it's a Bible verse that I had kind of been reading for like the last week or two. And finally it dawned on me this week. I'm like, oh, this Bible verse has specifically to do with this week's Disney devotional. So I'll start with that. It's Psalm 33, and we start at verse 16. It says, No king is saved by the size of his army. No warrior escapes by his great strength. And a horse is a vain hope for deliverance. Mm. So in the world, the world says, have strength, have fortress, have big buildings, and you'll be safe. But God says, the king isn't saved by his army. Nope. The warrior is not saved by his strength. And the horse ain't going to do it for you either. Sorry, horsey. <laughs> but then he goes on to say, we wait in hope for the Lord. He is our help yes. and he is our shield. So beautiful brothers and sisters in Christ, God is our hope. Yes. He is our shield. Yep. He is our fortress. Mm. He is our protection. Love it. Please share more. For me, it was uh, Psalms 31, uh, 2 through 3. That uh, it was a, um, In it is where David is crying out. He says, Incline your ear to me. Rescue me quickly. Be to me a rock of strength, a stronghold to save me. For you are my rock and my fortress, and for your namesake, you will lead me and guide me. I mm. love that, mm -hmm. that he is guiding mm -hmm. us it. to it. 
So I just think that um, no matter where we are, no matter uh, that he is our rock, that he shelters us, he covers us, he leads us uh, when I'm weak, that he is uh, there to be my stronghold. Mm, um, amen. Yeah, he, he is my shield when I'm in trouble. He is my shelter for uh, when, I'm, when I need him to be there. Um, so I just know that in him, I am safe and that in him, I know that no matter what the plans are that I have, if they don't work out, that um, our future, that he has us and he has us oh, right there in his grasp for us. Amen. So. Oh my goodness. So you guys, let God be your immovable fortress today, this whole week, for the rest of your life. Enjoy the beauty of Cinderella yeah. Castle, Absolutely. but enjoy God's beauty even more. He's yep. immovable. Hallelujah. Yep. Woo! We love you guys. Uh, if you please uh, subscribe after you watch this, uh, yeah. give me comments. And if you need any prayer for anything, please put it down there. We'd love to pray for you guys. I love you guys. See you next week. Bye-bye.